Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is part two of the snack swap package swap collaboration with Madison Mukbang. And if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link it up above. Basically, we sent each other our favorite vegan snack foods. Unfortunately, I effed up majorly with my part of the collab and I lost well, I didn't lose, I stupidly didn't import um, the majority of the footage of me trying the foods for the first time. So what I have done to rectify that is make a mukbang using the snack foods. If you haven't seen that first video, go check it out. Also, be sure to go check out Madison's channel after this and watch her video. Her part two is going to be tasting the savory snacks that I sent her, so the crackers and the chips. So I'll leave all the links in the description to her video and her channel and part one of my collab. And yeah, I'll just get into what we've got on the platter here. So we have got a vegan mac and cheese. Now I was going to put these Pito's chips crumbled up on top, but I think um, the color is not super strong or stu super red. So it would have just looked a bit funny. So I didn't end up putting them on top. But basically these are like uh, the vegan version of or the closest thing to flaming hot Cheetos and they're really really good. I'll um, talk more about those later. So that's the vegan mac and cheese and then here we have a vegan frito pie and I made that using the frito corn chips that Madison sent me and then uh, just made in a typical way with chili sauce and some vegan cheese on top and then we have a vegan taco salad which has a bunch of things in it as well but i have used the spicy sweet chili doritos these guys here in that and then at the front here we have some potato gems or tater tots as you call them in the us and other parts of the world and I have sprinkled it with this stuff that Madison sent me which is a chili lime seasoning and it's freaking amazing really good on those potato gems and then here we have some ketchup to dip the potato gems into and that is this ketchup here which is the Whataburger spicy ketchup and if you can't already tell, I love this ketchup. Look how much I've already used. This was actually my favorite thing from the Snack Swap because um, it's just such a simple product, but it's so amazing. And I wouldn't expect a ketchup to blow me away like that. So I love it. And then here we have two of the six hot sauces that Madison sent to me. I think these two are my favorite. They're the Cholula Original and the uh, El, what's it called? El Yucatico. I'm probably butchering that name very badly. This one is a green habanero hot sauce. So I really like these as well. And I don't know if you can tell, but I have already consumed a lot of them. In addition to the ketchup over here, I don't know if you can see how bad this actually is in the in the screen but it's a hot mess this is supposed to be a vegan cheesecake but it has melted so it looks like a freaking blob of amoeba that's what it looks like to me <laughs> but it tastes delicious and that's all that matters right how i made that is i used the lemon oreo thins that madison sent me the birthday cake popcorn from trader joe's and the base of this cheesecake, which you can't see, I used the cinnamon crunch cereal to make the crust. So I, I blended that up in my blender and I mixed it with some vegan butter and that is the crust for that vegan cheesecake. And I'm just really disappointed that it looks like shit, but like I said, it's going to taste good. So that's all that matters. And of course, as always, I will um, leave all the information in the description of how I made these foods in case you want to make them or check out the products for yourself. I also have my cup of peach tea with the mug that Madison sent me that says don't mess with animals. That's really really refreshing. Let's tuck into this. 
Mmm, that's really good. I'm also using the cutlery medicine sent me. Let's try this with some of the green hot sauce. I think that would be really nice. Ooh. That hot sauce is so good. So good. Ooh. To give you a close up of this, shouldn't I? I'm a terrible, terrible mukbanger. This is such a good dish. Mm. Oh, um, probably got it all over my face. Just move this guy as well. Okay. I really want to try the Frito pie. This came straight out of the oven though, so oh no, it's much cooler now. That's fine. I don't think I showed you the Fritos for those of you who don't know what they are. They're just like a corn chip. I um small thin corn chip like that some of them are longer than that and they are yeah famously famously known for being used in this dish called a frito pie which is um a layer of frito chips a layer of chili sauce and a layer of cheese and oh you're supposed to put fresh uh, white onion on top. So I've got that here. And of course, um, all my food is the vegan version. So I've used vegan cheese and vegan mince and that sort of thing. I'll put everything in the description for you. I don't think my chili sauce was wet enough. So it probably hasn't soaked or absorbed into the Frito chips that much. But still looks really good. There's a close up. Sorry for my shaky hands. Looks really good. Okay. I suck at taking big bites, so it's going to look weird. Mmm. That is so good. Yum. I really like that. Mm. with that fresh onion it's so amazing Kind of reminds me of something, but I can't think of what it is. Something I've had before. Mm. Let's add some of this. Hmm. <laughs> 
Mm. That is amazing. Mm. There are those damn birds that annoy me in every video. Cockatoos. Maybe this can be like half mukbang, half ASMR, <laughs> where I just eat the food. Whoops. <laughs> That is excellent. Let's go for one of these guys. So this side is the side with the spicy. It's the bird witching hour. You can see them all flying outside. This side is the one with the spicy lime seasoning and then that side is plain, which I can dip into the ketchup. Mm. That is such a good seasoning. Apparently it goes really well on fruit and vegetables. <clears throat> and um, that was the thing in the box that Madison said would go great on pineapple. So the next time I make pineapple pizza, I'm going to put that on my pineapple. These are so easy to eat. Just eat way too easy to eat too many of them. That's the seasoning um, once again. Tajin, Tajin, Tahin. Again, I can't pronounce things for shit. But it's got chili peppers, salt, lime juice, um, and that's it. Besides, you know, the standard chemicals and <laughs> preservatives and things. But that is such a good seasoning. I would highly recommend getting that if you can. Try one with the ketchup. I can't even see the ketchup. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Oh, bit of cheesecake with my potato gym. Why not? It actually tastes all right. <laughs> I seriously cannot see past this bowl here. I'm in love with this sauce. I want to marry this ketchup. <laughs> So next up we have this taco salad and like I mentioned I used the sweet 
chili spicy Doritos in there. We've got some vegan mints, same that the same product that's in this. We've got lettuce, tomato, black beans, corn, red onion, green onion. What else? Uh, some vegan cheese, and I think that's it for in there. And then I have this Catalina dressing, which I made using the water burger ketchup because ketchup is a um, primary ingredient in Catalina dressing. So uh, I made this last night for the first time. Ketchup, sugar, apple cider vinegar, some spices. I'll leave the recipe linked below, but basically that's the gist. I think the uh, blogger might have gone a bit too over the top with the sugar because it's very sweet. I probably wouldn't make it that sweet next time, but it's a really, really good dressing. And I also have some, I don't know if I can show you this without me tipping it, some vegan sour cream made with cashews. So it's cashew sour cream. And this stuff is so good. You can buy vegan sour creams at the store that are much like the real thing. I much prefer um, cashew based ones that are made from home. I don't know, it's something really decadent and delicious about them. And I don't think they compare to the, sorry, I don't think the store ones compare to a cashew based version, to be honest. If you disagree, let me know. Maybe I just haven't found the right brand yet, but that is my feeling on the situation. Let's drizzle it on top. I must say, I'm, I think the Cholula is my favorite out of all the ones Madison sent me. I do love the green one as well, and I know that's her ride and die sauce, but I really, really like not only the taste, but the texture of this. It's kind of uh, a little bit grainy and thick, I guess, from the spices, and it's just beautiful texture. Oop. So let's try and mix this up without it spilling everywhere. So I'll give you a close up, but it's just a um, big spoonful of mush now, I guess. I don't know how good that's gonna look, but it smells incredible. Mmm. Oh wow. That is so good. I feel like that's all I'm saying today is that is so good. I need some new adjectives for my food. Mmm. <laughs> Can you even see the bowl? I don't know which I like better, this or that. They're both equally as good. They're very similar, but they're different. Mm. I know what we can talk about. What do you guys think of this whole um, Kate Yup conspiracy theory that's going around? If you know what I'm talking about, let me know what you think below. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Kate Yup is a, is she a mukbanger? Or an a she's either a mukbanger or an ASM artist and she eats an enormous amount of foods. She's a competitive eater, I think. So she eats really fast and huge volumes and she can just down it really quickly because she's obviously been trained to do that. So her videos are very popular in their own right. But I guess because she, um, you know, you can't really do that every day or every week. She only puts out videos once a month or every three months. But lately she's been leaving it longer and longer between videos and people are starting to believe that she has been uh, abducted or trafficked and is being forced to eat 
food for money on YouTube. So they are theorizing that someone is holding her captive and starving her between uh, videos and that's why she is able to just scoff a huge amount of food down really fast and you know there are other things people have picked up on in the video like when she's put her commentary up on the at the bottom of the video the capitalized letters have spelled help um, they've spelled out SOS there was uh, footage of her tapping in the video and someone thought that was like an SOS uh, message and there have been uh, instances of her kind of like freaking out and pausing in the video to listen out for something and people saying they can hear a man in the background saying to hurry up and eat or shut up or you know making noise so there's this big conspiracy going on around that she's being held captive somewhere and being forced to eat or being forced to film these videos now it's not inconceivable that that could happen because when you get millions of views or even hundreds of thousands of views like she does you make quite a good bit of money on YouTube from AdSense. It's not inconceivable that someone would exploit her in order to make money like that. However, if it were truly the case that she was being held captive, she wouldn't have any control over the editing process or the YouTube process in responding to comments, especially not the editing. So all of these people saying that they can see help and SOS and different things in the video as like uh, subtle ways of her asking for help her captor wouldn't allow that or he would if, if she was allowed to edit the video he would or he or she would look at it and take that out so I I think she's just a girl who is a competitive eater or has developed this skill I guess to eat a huge amount of foods really fast and obviously she doesn't want to do it all the time that's why the videos are infrequent and people are just I don't know jumping to this conclusion that she's been abducted but then I don't want to say that it, it's not a possibility. I just think something doesn't add up and she really wouldn't be allowed to be in control of the editing process and giving people clues that she needs help if that were the case. I genuinely think that it's, it's not what people are saying. She's just a YouTuber, just a girl who practices competitive eating and you know, releases videos very infrequently. I think maybe people are making this out to be something it's not. Um, but again, I, I don't know. You just never know, right? The other thing is, even if someone was being held and starved, I don't think you would be able to eat that volume of food, even if you were starving, because you know you have to train your body for that you have to stretch your stomach you have to have done it a lot of times you you essentially have to train to do that sort of thing that's why it's a sport it's a com competitive eating is a sport so while if you were actually starving you could probably eat the food really fast and ravenously i don't think you could eat that sheer amount of volume that she does i think she does that because she is a competitive eater and she has been trained or has been practicing in that field for a long time but I don't know I read I honest to god I hope there's nothing uh, fishy or sus going on I guess we can only wait until she releases her next video I know a lot of people have been saying they've reported it to the authorities and 
reported it to YouTube. So I guess that's all that can really be done at this point for the people who think that there is um, something sus going on. I mean, I don't know what else can be done outside of that because no one even knows uh, where she's from, which country she's in. There's really not a lot of information to go off. But, you know, even if she does come out and say there's nothing wrong, it's all good, which she has in the last video in the description, I think now that people have um, come up with this conspiracy theory, it's probably never going to go away. It's always going to be there now. Anyway, I'd love to know what you think. I feel like it's a really dark topic to be talking about, but uh, it's come up in my recommended because I saw it mentioned on someone's channel, so I decided to look it up and see what they were talking about. And now I'm getting all of these um, videos in my recommended from other channels. So I'm sure you guys have come across it as well. Getting very full now. <laughs> I'm getting really full. I'm going to show you the pedos chips. So, as I said before, these are like the uh, closest thing to flaming hot Cheetos. Um, that's what they look like. They're very crunchy, very firm. And they're not overly spicy. They're actually really nice, mild kind of spice level. Really good. Okay, maybe they are a bit spicy. <laughs> what are these made from? Mmm, pea and lentil flour. So they would be quite high in protein. Yeah, four grams. Per serve. That's still pretty good for a chip. Mm. Madison also sent me this vegan jerky. The brand is It's Jerky Girl. And this is black pepper and sea salt. This stuff is good. This is really good. Um, kind of reminds me of pepperoni. Christian actually said, make sure you leave me some because <laughs> he loves it. That's what it looks like. Got some fluff on my finger. Ugh. Joys of filming. Mm. That's super yummy. Really salty and rich. Really good texture too.
Oh, there's a bed on. Oh, oh. There are two minor beds fighting on my balcony. What are you doing? They're like slip and sliding on the railing. <laughs> okay, so you can probably see my disaster of a cheesecake better now. How about I move these out of the way? And you can really see it in this. Um, oh no, that's popcorn. This is the Trader Joe's birthday cake popcorn, which I sprinkled onto the cheesecake. And these are the Oreo lemon thins that Madison sent me, which will go great with this cheesecake because there is lemon in the um, creamy part. Unfortunately, it's just melted everywhere. Mmm. That is really good together. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what have I done? I'm so sorry. Super melted. It's like a dip. <laughs> you can't even see the crust underneath. So these are um, the Oreos, and this is the birthday cake popcorn that I put on top of the cheesecake. These are both really good. Would highly recommend you try them if you haven't. Obviously, you can't get the Trader Joe's in Australia. You can probably get the lemon Oreos. I'm not too sure. Just Google it up and you'll find out. But yeah, definitely recommend both these. Let's see if we can crack through to the crust. I think. Oh no, there it is. There it is. Oh, don't fall off, don't fall off. What's the last thing I need is for this to fall on my carpet? No, thank you. So, I don't know how well you'll see that. But the crust is in there. Oh, gosh. It's making a mess. Mmm. Oh, wow. That is rich. That is really nice. Mmm. So this is the um, cinnamon crunch cereal that Madison sent me and that is what is the base of this cheesecake. I crushed it up with some vegan butter and just pressed it into the pan and put the creamy part on top. I also have some Nutter Butter Biscuits here. These are little biscuits filled with peanut butter. Nutter Butter Bites, sorry. Nutter Butter Bites. Okay guys, I am completely stuffed so that's it for me for today. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to check out Madison's video now for her part two of our collaboration and I will see you in the next one. Bye!